to a homegrown Natalie. I was um, on YouTube, obviously, looking at some hair salons um, in Korea videos and I could only find that there were some from uh, really nice places in Gangnam or like in foreign or popular places like Juno Hair and I couldn't see or find any that were really about like your local Korean hair shop. So I decided to make a video on it. <laughs> For the most part, these hair salons are way cheaper than the well-known ones and might even be cheaper than what you're used to paying back home. Uh, they sometimes can also give you like service, which is like maybe a hair product at the end. But there is a possibility, sometimes more than usual, that they won't speak English. But that's like with any place in Korea and we can't always expect every place to speak English. So. But anyways, I live in Daejeon and about two weeks ago I went to my favorite hair shop at Ningdong and it is called Sho Hair. I've been going there for the past 9 to 10 months now and specifically for dye jobs. They do speak very little to no English, but I've always been happy with the end result. <laughs> for this entire look, uh, which they bleached my roots and also bleached it so I could kind of fade into the base hair color that I came in with, uh, plus the actual color they trim and styling, it came out to a whopping 65,000 won. Really super cheap. The whole process took about three hours, but it didn't really feel like it. At the end of this video, um, I will be giving you some advice or tips, if you will, on going uh, hunting for your local Korean hair shop. So now, off to the video. but it has been two weeks and two washes since then. Yes, I only wash my hair once a week. Um, this is a very hard color to maintain, so these are the measures that I need to take. <laughs> All right, and now four tips. Number one, know what you want, man. Unlike back home where you have the luxury of talking out options and ideas with your hairdresser, um, here in Korea, if you don't speak Korean or if they don't speak English, that's gonna be a problem, so please know already what you want. <laughs> that leads me to number two, and that is bring in pictures that I feel is a universal rule for hair salons. Um, but you know, pictures speak a thousand words in English and in Korean. Number three, when you go into a hair shop, look at the stylist's hair and the patrons that are there. If you like what you see or if you see what you actually want done to your hair, then that's a good sign. Number four, which isn't really a tip, but kind of more advice. If you're going to a hair shop for just a regular dye job or for a cut or anything, then they can totally 100% do that for you. But if you're going in for like highlights, lowlights, anything that is detailed, um, you might have to do some research to find a place that actually does those type of things. Because sometimes those things do not go well. I've actually gone to a hair shop, a couple of hair shops before finding the one that I'm at now when I wanted um, low lights and an ombre and the hairdressers would just tell me like, that's gonna be hard. And I'm like, huh? Isn't that like a standard thing? But in Korea, that's not really a style that you see a lot. So I think that might be the reason why they might have a hard time doing it. Also, not really a tip, but um, 
If you already go to a specific hairdresser or hair salon back home, um, whether it's because you have a specific hair texture or hair type, then you will definitely have to do your research before going to a salon here, finding some uh, place that really suits your needs. But if you're someone like me who doesn't really have any hair conditions or anything and have has always gone to any type of hair shop, then I feel like this option might be the best for you. My hair is actually quite thick and my scalp isn't very sensitive, so that may be the reason why it kind of really works out um, me going to hair shops here. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that this kind of helped in any way if you are trying to find like a place. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it two big up thumbs up and I always say two because you probably have two Gmail accounts done that line, man. And if you haven't done so already, there's a subscribe button that you could click and you could subscribe and then I would be happy and we could be friends and stuff. Um, also leave anything in the comment section down below because I love reading them. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys are having a super awesome day and a really awesome weekend. Catch you in the next one. Bye!